pleasure to sit and talk to you. Likewise. <laughs> looking forward to this, isn't Yes, definitely. Yeah, really impression you're looking forward to. Why is your, tell me a little bit about your desire to you know, get all you can from this world. Right? I think um, any kind of time you play for your country is a, is a big feeling and a nice feeling. And I think for me personally, I played in the 2007 World Cup in China and I was a lot younger then. Um, not as much experience as I have now and I think now is the right time and I think it's a good time for me I feel confident I feel good about myself I feel confident in what I can bring to the team on and off the field whether I play or not is obviously up to the manager but at the same time I feel in a good place kind of mentally when I'm aware of England that I can contribute in a good way on and off the field it's kind of obviously it's the games that matter but it's every day in training it's how you encourage each other it's how you are as a unit and I think that's important and I think being away with each other for six weeks is obviously a long time. So it's important to kind of know exactly what you need to do on and off the field. So I think I also contribute a lot to a lot of the stuff on and off the field, not only as a footballer. Any surprises in the squad selection? I mean, unfortunate for Mark, he has to pick 23 players. And I say unfortunately because it's not an, uh, an easy thing to do. I think the fact that Mark calls around everybody to let them know is, is a very big thing to do because a lot of managers, um, some, some of the teams are finding out on social media, some people are finding out via email. So I think the fact that Mark's told people via phone and is open to kind of meeting with players who haven't been selected. Um, but I mean, it's not for me to say if this is the right or the wrong squad, it's the squad that Mark's chosen. And I think hopefully it'll be the, the right one going forward. But I think it's important to remember the girls that have contributed to the process of getting picked going to a World Cup in the Cyprus Cup and it's unfortunate that only 23 can be picked and I do feel for the girls that have unfortunately not been selected. How has this team evolved for you uh, from 2007 to now? Well I think now, I mean obviously we're under a completely new regime of new manager. Um, I wasn't here for four years but obviously I was in the last setup before and I think the way we are now is that we have a lot more freedom off the field and on the field too. So I think sometimes with freedom comes you enjoy it more, you feel like you're embraced, you can do more things, you know what I mean? Like even little things like being able to wear your own clothes in the evening or go out for dinner somewhere and things like that. I think being away for six weeks is a long time yeah. and it's important to be able to do the things you would do. Because for me, if I do go into management, I want my players to do it kind of more or less what they would do when they wasn't, when they was away from camp. Do you know what I mean? So when it comes to sleeping and getting the right amount of sleep and eating right and kind of having a bit of flexibility as opposed to kind of like so regimented because I think that's what we have here now. We have a lot of freedom. We do the right things. We're professional. We get the job done. But at the same time, we do have flexibility. Mark's open to change and if things can be better. So I think it's important to have a, a manager that's approachable and a staff that's embracing each other. Sounds like off the pitch is all good. I mean, could you have prepared any better in terms of qualifying for this tournament? I don't think so. I mean, our group that we were in, it wasn't like the strongest group going, but at the end of the day, we can only play against who we're up against. So it's important for us to take care of the business that we did and going into the World Cup, hopefully we can, In the, I mean, we've still got three or four weeks till the game. So we've got a 10 day camp now, then we go to go we have a break for four days and then we go to Canada. So it's kind of, I'd say this is just the beginning. But obviously Mark's been in charge now for 18 months, but I think the process now when people say to me, well, did you ever feel nervous about not being selected? I did, I felt so nervous, I had butterflies, but I'd like to think that I had done more than enough in the last 18 months under Mark, not only the last month or so, because I think as time comes down to selection, you get a bit jittery, I had butterflies, like I couldn't sleep the night before Mark was calling. It was a weird feeling, but at the same time, I think, if you didn't have that, then you're in the wrong game. <laughs> France, how's that game go? Tough one. Yeah, definitely. Tough one. They've always seemed to have our number um, when we played against them in previous years, apart from when we beat them, well, we will to go to the World Cup before we um, went to France and got the result we needed. Mm. But I think they've got a great team, but so have we. And I think hopefully we can kind of put into place everything that we've learned over the last 18 months and throughout our careers and hopefully we can go there and play them first game and, and get the result we need. You're going to win it? Yeah, again, I'd like to think we're going to go there and hopefully do big things. I mean, I don't like saying such bold statements because I think you put a lot of pressure on yourself and as a team, but I think as long as we prepare the best way we can and, and do the right things and go there, we show our grit, determination and fight that an England team should do. and kind of combine that with the ability and the players that we do have. We have a lot of strength in depth and whoever plays, whoever, however amount of time, will be the right person for that job and will do a job. 
So I think it's important for us to have the strength in depth that we do and to be together as a union and stick together. Thanks, Thanks a lot. Appreciate it, man. Cheers.